<laughs> Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Teacher, todavía no me conecta. Mm -hmm. no Pretty hair, eh, Sara. Is <laughs> <laughs> <Your hair is> pretty. <laughs> <laughs> what color is? It's pretty good. Yes. <laughs> what what color is Sara? Uh, hair. Hair. My hair. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is um, rubio cenizo, quizá. Como ese, como ese color no está en inglés, no lo puedes decir, ¿verdad, Sara? Ajá. Sí, sí, cabal. <risa> Ey, no me estén molestando que yo tengo una gran hambre. No me quedo Eso tiempo de nada. Because it's nice, Sara. It's Eso nice. Es All right. Thank you. Hi, Brit. Welcome. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Me gusta. How are you? Bye, Bye thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Me gusta este grupo. Bye. All right. Very good. <laughs> hey, very happy, Bridget. <laughs> More or less. More or less. <laughs> Today is my, my anniversary. Hi. 23 years. <gasps> Congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Por eso es esa felicidad. <laughs> What's up? ¿Qué, ¿De qué me perdí? <laughs> It's anniversary day. Oh my God! Congratulations! Uh -huh. Thank you. Very happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Qué emoción. Yes. 23 años no se dice fácil. <laughs> no, no, para nada, para nada. Sí. Are you cook today? No. No. Today no. Special dinner? No. No, eh, eh, Saturday. 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 Mm. No, está, Saturday. había conectado la cámara porque estaba degustando mm -hmm. mi sagrado. Mm -hmm. <risa> Delicious food, César. Es que acaba, acabo, de, acabo de terminar de coser frijoles y hacer... Good evening, arroz. guys. Ah, good evening, Santiago. Good evening. Eso estamos comiendo ahorita. Hey, ¿Cómo estamos, Santi? Provecho. Como costó que estuvieran los frijoles. Ah, Acabo de terminar. Qué Entonces, hombre más completo. Sí. Hice <risa> arrocito, <risa> cremita, queso, limoncito, quedó, pero wow. Mm. Delicious. Hello. 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 Hello, teacher. Hello, Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How, are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Hi, guys. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Fine, thank you. Excellent. Welcome to all of you. I was listening while you were talking since early, so that was good. A uh, very interesting conversation. <laughs> I love when we talk about food, so that's my favorite topic. Uh, okay. Okay. So that makes sense. Me to too. Me. Welcome, mm -hmm. guys, to it's a great pleasure to start a class, and also because every single time we have the opportunity to improve and maximize our English skills, and especially because English is an active is an active subject. It's, it's a language. So everywhere, all the time, everything around us, you know, we had to build an English environment. And at the same time, we'll be successful to improve the skills. And uh, it's also recommendable to, you know, have contact with everything that has to be good English, like television, um, series in English, applications, conversation with friends in English, uh, reading books, you know, using apps for improving and studying English. So we, nowadays, we have a lot of tools that can help us to improve english and we go step by step that will be depending the time we have to practice i know that you are very very busy because you of your job because you do a lot of things and i totally understand that you are very busy all the time and also this special effort will make the difference 
So I'm really happy to, you know, to help you in this process. So let's see. Before that we start, I just want to ask you a couple of questions. First of all, do you remember what were we talking about in the last class? Who wants to help me to have a feedback? What we did in the last class? Um, hello? I'm sorry, uh, uh, did you understand the equation or you could you couldn't listen? No understand question. Can you repeat please? Okay, what we yeah, started sorry, teacher. <laughs> okay, what we started in the last class. What we did, ¿qué hicimos? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué hicimos en la última clase? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, ideal people, ideal uh, people. parents, friend, friend, partner, my best friend. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yes, it finish in the class in the, the best friend. Okay. I don't remember. Only teacher. Okay. Yes. Yes, that's okay. So we had a feedback and also you could talk. Yesterday we were like uh, taking a good time to, you know, to talk about friends. And also we had a good time to participate actively. So let's see what happened in, in this case, one second. Okay, we have a, a new topic that we will talk about and also is the video conference number three. And this is called uh, career moves. And we have a general objective. Who wants to help me to read it? A volunteer to read. Me, teacher. Thank you. General adjective. By the end of this class, you will learn about the best jobs, basis of personality types. Thank you so much. That's one of the goals that we will have for this unit number two. By the end of this class, you will learn about the best jobs based on personality types. So we will know about vocabulary related to people, related to personality types. If you are serious, angry, crazy, happy, funny, uh, responsible, you're punctual, you're kind, you are awesome. So you, you will describe about, you know, some kind of personality types. And we will have a short feedback of the previous exercise that we developed. In that case, we're talking about clauses with it plus adverbial clauses with when. And also we can see some common expressions here. Um, como podemos ver, tenemos los clauses with it. Y tenemos algunas expresiones que son como los adverbial clauses. I don't mind it. I don't like it. I can't stand it. Um, it bothers me and it upsets me. So we're just going to have like a short time to um, remember in Spanish this vocabulary. For example, what's the meaning about I don't mind it? ¿Qué significaría I don't mind it? No importa. No, no me importa. Sí, como cuando cuando digo, ah, puedes trabajar esta tarde. No puede de ser acuerdo, no me importa. No, me no importa. Okay. That's great. That's mm -hmm. that's something important, right? So you say, I don't mind it when people talk loudly during a movie. In my case, I don't have a problem with that. Um, do you have a problem with this situation or not? Yes, is disgusting. Is like uncomfortable, um, incomodo that people speak when you're watching a movie. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I understand. In my case, I don't have problems with that. So for me, I don't mind if 
when people talk loudly during a movie. Oh, the next one. I don't like it. What's the meaning in Spanish about I don't like it? No me gusta. Me gusta. Exactly. Me gusta. Yes. I don't like it when a cell phone rings in the classroom. Do you have a problem with that? ¿Tienen problemas con eso? Que estés, case, eh... I don't have a problem when a cell phone sound in, in the class, during the class. Okay, when a cell phone rings. Okay, that's that's good. The next one. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. What's the meaning? No lo soporto. Exactly. I can stand it when a child scream in a restaurant. Do you have a problem with that? Look, do you have a problem with that? Yes, long, yes. long time. Is it is uncomfortable when a child screams in a restaurant? Mm -hmm. No. It's normal, I think. It's normal. Mm -hmm. Not teacher for for me. Okay, all right. So it's it's okay for you. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, it bothers me when a teacher forgets my name. <laughs> forgets my name. So that's one other one. Okay, uh, we're gonna take a short time to complete the sentences with the if it closes from the list, then take turns reading your sentences with a partner. Entonces va eh, va a completar estas oraciones utilizando I love it, I can't stand it. It makes me happy. It bothers me. So you will select the best choice for your ones. So les voy a dar ahí unos minutitos para que lo completen. Y, y pues ustedes luego lo socializamos cada uno. Les iré pidiendo cada uno que lo lean eh, como ustedes lo tienen. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, great job. Let's, let's okay, start. Teacher. Ok, excellent.
Ok, almost ready guys or not yet. ¿Estamos listos? I'm ready now. Almost. Almost. Like a couple of minutes more. Yes, two minutes. Please. Ok, great. Oh, there is a microphone. Microphone. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, let's um see what possible answers we can give the, with the first one. I just need a, a volunteer for the first one. Who wants to help me to answer the first sentence? Number one. Love it. Okay, read the sentence. I love it when someone gave me a compliment on my clothes. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that's that's that makes sense to me. Clothes, excellent. Number two. I don't mind it. Um, yes, read the sentence. I don't mind it uh, when people are direct and say what's on their mind. On their mind. Yeah, what's on their mind? Yes, so that that's okay for me. Yeah, that's okay for me. Okay, remember this is a personal, a personal experience in that case. Number three, volunteer. Me, teacher. Yes. I I don't I don't mind when someone correct my English in front of others. Wow, very interesting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, because all of us were learning, and and, and it, it should be like that one. By the way, pues <laughs> si estamos aprendiendo, pues es importante que nos digan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's okay for me. Okay, number four. Me teacher. Yes. It makes me happy when a friend is sensitive and supportive. I think it's the number five, I guess. Five. Five. Ah, uh, four. Oh, yeah, yeah, four, four. Yeah. It makes me happy when a friend is sensitive and supportive. And supportive. Yes. Yeah, I totally, I totally agree with you. Okay, number five. Me, teacher. Yes. I can stand it when people throw trash on the ground. Okay. Um. Yeah, I can stand when people throw trash on the ground. Yes, I totally agree. People should be very careful and protect the nature, protect the environment, and also throw the trash in the in the baskets in the cans in the trash cans so it's necessary okay number six number six me teacher yes thank you it bothers me 
when a friend treats me to dinner. Okay, when a friend treats me to dinner. Okay. Okay, thank you. Number seven. Me teacher. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. I don't mind it when when I get phone calls in my birthday. That's right. So in that case, also you can see this one. And I get a phone call for my birthday. Okay, next. Uh, what's the next? Number eight. Volunteer. Me? Me, teacher. Thank you. Uh, eight, brother. Exactly. It doesn't bother me. Uh, when strangers ask for me for money. Okay, that's right. In that case, you know, um, when a stranger asks me for money. Okay, you yeah, know, personal perspective in that case. Thank you. And the next one, what's, okay, next? Me, teacher. Thank you, go mm -hmm. ahead. Number 10, I can stand it when teachers are temperament. temperamental. Temperamental. Yeah, when teachers are temperamental, they're like kind of angry, or they are like, you know what? Is sometimes they are very angry and not supportive, or flexible because it's important to have a flexible teacher, so they they can understand you and your needs, your situation. So it's good to have a flexible teacher. Okay, there are important situations and experiences that we live, and also I don't know if you have any question about any spe uh, specific word or vocabulary. I don't know, do you have any questions or doubts? I, I have a question. Yep. Um, uh, what's the difference between bothers me and upsets me? For example, upset, it's when you are angry, something that make you be make you feel angry. And bothers also is like a synonym. Um, me enoja, que sería uh, upset, y bother significa me molesta. Entonces, uh, are like synonyms. So we can use both to relate to something. Algo que me enoja o algo que me molesta. Entonces, por ejemplo, si yo digo, it doesn't bother me, Significa que no me molesta, no me enoja. Entonces, mm -hmm. son sinónimos. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. No more questions? It's clear like I, ha water. I have one question, sure. Yes. Uh, I I I wonder if one of those closest with it uh, could be uh, some could be some like this disrespectful depending of the context. Could yeah. could it be disrespectful? Disrespectful. I'm sorry. Disrespectful. Um, disrespectful. Yeah. yeah. For yes. some, there are some situations in which perhaps for you could be a little bit disrespectful. For example somebody is screaming in a restaurant i mean obviously that for some people will be disrespectful because you are in a quiet in a calm place in a relaxed environment and someone is start screaming without no reason or also breaking the good environment so in some situations this could be disrespectful or not appropriate yes uh, in in another case if i if i tell that uh, to another person if i say for example i don't like it i could i could i sound a little disrespectful mm, i mean you you had a freedom you have the freedom to say how you feel i mean if you say what it bothers you and doesn't affect people that's okay for example okay hey i mean you know what i, I don't like this way because it's very noisy so you you can show 
how do you feel? You express yourself. But if that situation doesn't affect someone else, it's not a problem to say it's not disrespectful. You are honest. You are being honest. That's the only one different. It depends the, of the, the situation. I mean, if you are like okay. um, disrespecting the person, saying something negative, a bad expression, obviously that will be inappropriate and also will be no kind. But if you are honest with the person, I mean, for me, it's 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 not it's not a problem. You are being honest. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I see this teacher um as enrich the vocabulary. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. That those expressions can help us to say how we feel. Um. Bueno, American people sometimes are very direct with the conversation, expressions, and everything. Son bastante directos con las cosas. Entonces, pues nosotros como que, bueno, hay personas que son bastante claras en decir algo y otros que son un poquito más reservados. Depende, depende cómo sean las personas. Pero, okay. pues, usted dice algo que no le agrada, usted lo dice de una manera cortés, polite, kind, educada. Entonces, eso es algo que, pues, es importante destacar, ¿no? Right. Que usted diga, hey, es que no me gusta, como, y ahí con un tono de voz, porque the, there is a phrase in English that says, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. No es lo que dice, sino cómo lo dice. That's the situation when you are in a conversation. So you just know what you say is how you say it. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Right. Yes. It's okay. All right. Great. Okay. So let's continue with the next part after that we can express ourselves about that one. And for example, we were like discussing the previous exercise. And do you ever get annoyed by a certain type of person or situation? And also, I want you to think about five things that I know you the most. That's what we had to do. Think about five things that annoys you the most. Oh, five things that you don't like. Oh, oh, five things that you are uncomfortable. Entonces, quiero que piensen cinco cosas que lo molestan bastante de, de otras personas. Por ejemplo, que there is one that you're you are eating with your friends or colleagues or some people. And suddenly someone else approach you and you're eating and get some food from your plate. For some people, this is annoying. I you don't like that. Que de repente usted está comiendo y llega otro y le agarra de, de su plato de comida y hay gente que le da hasta un ataque porque, hey, ¿por qué está sacando mi comida? Me, me, a mí no me gusta. Okay, so you don't like it. Yeah, así que ya saben, compañeros, ahí, atención ahí. Don't, don't, don't grab some food from his plate. Okay, think about five things that I know you the most, and then we will compare in the class, okay? Yes? I'll give you a couple of minutes to do this one, and then we will take a short time to socialize this one. Así que, comenzamos.
Okay, almost ready? Yes? I'm ready now. Excellent. So we'll take like at least, um, we'll make small groups. The, the goal is like in two minutes, you can socialize briefly what, what you like or what you dislike or some things that perhaps you don't like. Entonces vamos a abrir los breaker rooms y usted va a compartir con sus compañeros eh, qué cosas no le gustan. I don't like this one. I don't like this one. I disagree with this one. I hate. I don't like. I can't stand using the expressions. Okay. So let's go and practice. Okay. Bueno, vamos. Teacher. Hello. I am alone. Well, you, you didn't receive the the link. Oh, I, I there was a window. So I'm going to send you to another group. One second. Okay. Um let's see, Karen. Okay, I will send you to the group number one. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. No, Oye, la gente que ama. It, it's load. Load. L-O-U-D. Mm -hmm. Ok. Load. Ok. A mí, a mí, así le encontré como que era alto. Ok. Y Thank you. I, I hate when the people are late. Eh, creo que me, 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 me molesta que, que las personas digan que van a llegar a una hora y llegan demasiado tarde. O sea, odio que las personas lleguen tarde. Mm -hmm. Not, not punctual. Uh, not punctual. Tengo otra. Ok, I have ok. Other. Ajá. It, it bothers me that people throw garbage on the street. Garbage on the street. Uh -huh. que las garbage. Tiren la ah, garbage. Ah, basura. Uh -huh. This trash. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Garbage down the street. It bothers mm -hmm. me that people throw garbage on the street. Oh. Uh -huh. That's me, me too. Me too. Uh -huh. Igual a mí. No, no, no me gusta que las personas tiren basura. Uh -huh. uh, because the country is um, uh, very dirty. <laughs> ¿Verdad? Muy sucio. Se ve el país muy sucio. Yeah. Uh -huh. It... Con... ¿Continúo? ¿Yo? Eh, creo que 
tiene que participar Edith Araceli Guzmán. Ah, no, ah ok. Ajá, está con nosotros también. Uh -huh. Hi, no, Edith. No. Hi. Hi. Hi, ¿me escuchan? Sí, yes, yes, yes. ¿Qué son las cosas que no te gustan? Uh, I don't like it sushi. I oh. don't like eating sushi. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, uh, I another is for example, um, I hate with the people in the street uh, speak only with the bad words. Solo con malas palabras expresan la gente en la calle. I I hate. Yeah, me too. Uh, bad vocabulary. Bad expressions yes. too. Yeah. Uh, very, very bad. Uh-huh. It's annoying. Yes. And I and I don't like it when the people um in the street uh, are uh, the people are stressed or está estresada, I don't know. And begin the pee peep, I don't know if <laughs> say the noise with your with your car. And the people, uh, I don't know what to say in English, quisieran volar o quisieran, o sea, que los que están adelante quisieran que se apartaran, pero ¿cómo vamos a hacer? Es un gran, un gran tráfico, pues, y no podemos apartarnos. ¿verdad? Empiezan a pitar y a hacer ruido y a hacer un montón de locura. <laughs> that only that. Okay. Emerson. No, yo no. Yo no, te toca. No. Vaya, no. pues está bueno, solo porque aquí está el pitcher. Tengo dos. I love punctuality. Okay. Me encanta la puntualidad. No me gusta la gente que es impuntual. Y la segunda. I don't like when people was lowly. Cuando la gente va muy despacio en las calles, eso es un estrés. ¿Son de los que le pitas en Neida? No, cuando oh, vienes wow. caminando, cuando caminamos. Ah, oh, bueno. Ok. Oh, no. Bueno. ¿Las terminamos? Okay.
Okay, students, congratulations for the work done. I'm really happy to um to know about your point of view and the son of you were very very clear to express um to your information about things you don't like or you can't stand that you hate. We will continue, guys, for the part number two that we call career moves. In that case, this is the topic that we will discuss today for this class, part of the class that we have a couple of minutes, and it's and we're talking about careers. Best job based on personality types. That's the name of this, uh, this file. So I want you to help me to read each one, and also I want, I need a volunteer to read the. Let's see. The first line, who wants to help me to read this one? A volunteer to read this. Yes? Yes. Okay. escuchamos, Emelita. Maybe it's the internet connection. The connection, I guess so. Yeah, or maybe the microphone. And Ada, I think the microphone or the internet is like disrupting. Uh, the message is not so clear. Do you have the problem of connection? Yeah, perhaps. Okay, thank you. Okay, next one. Another volunteer for this one. Investigate. Investigative. Next. I think Diana Elizabeth said she okay. wanted to. Yes. Nina. Okay. Investigate like fluid uh, out problems, veterans, pharmacist. Okay, thank you. So this is like kind of investigative, right? That's a very important details. And especially this job like veterinarian, it's a nice job. I really like it. Okay, thank you. And next, uh, the next one is this one, a volunteer. Yes, thank you. Conventional types like following instruction and Routines, our traffic controller, accountant. Thank you so much. So you can see the conventional types, the air traffic controller and also the accountant. Okay, next, another volunteer about this one. Teacher. Yes. Me, teacher. Oh, oh no Cesar, I think Cesar said first, and then you can uh, read about enterprising. And I or yeah, Cesar, go ahead. All right. Realistic types. They like working outside, but with real world materials. Restaurant cook, bus driver. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, the next one is enterprising volunteer. Me, teacher. Yes. The uh, enter enterprise types like a lead leading people on on making the the decision, flight attendant, liar. Thank you. That's another uh, option too. And the next one that is uh, social teacher. types. Look at this one. Volunteer. Yes. Social type, like working with other people, high school coach, child care worker. Uh, child. Child. Yeah, it's okay. a child care. That's right. So we can see like a vast job based on personality types. And so we can see that there are artistic types like clothing designer, architects, because they are like uh, very, very smart in the low cre creativity and everything. So we can actually combine that one. 
Luego tenemos investigative type, investigate, could be a veterinarian, a pharmacist, because they like to investigate, to analyze. Then we have conventional types like following, air traffic controller, depending of the personality type, that's the kind of job that people have. For example, social type is like high school coach, childcare worker, because you are in contact with people. And enterprising is like flight attendant, lawyer. So that's the pain. Look at this example. Okay, look at the following equations. Who wants to help me to read the equations? Me, teacher. Me. Thank you. Okay. Can you think of two other jobs for each category? Compare your ideas with the class. What personality type do you think are you? Would you want to do the jobs list list? Listen under your personality type. Okay, so look at this one, for example, uh, another artistic type. Can you give me another uh, job in base of artistic? A job related to artistic types? A, a person who, who makes pictures or I don't know what is the word to, to describe this person. Designer graphic. Oh, graphic designer. Mm -hmm. Yes, excellent. That is great. I what? study an architect. Or, yeah, architect. Yeah, it's there. What about investigative types? Another job like figuring out problems and a different job? Yes? Criminalist, for example, no? A criminalist, okay. Okay, could be a good job, obviously. And also, yeah investigator what about conventional like following instructions and routines instrucciones y rutinas a job that has to be with that another job related to instructions and routines gene instructor a gene instructor okay that's that's okay, yes. A teacher, don't you think? Yes. Mm, yes. 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 And also has to be related to social types because we can combine some others. Realistic types like working outside or with real world materials. What job do you think we could describe? Yes. What uh, job? Biology. Biologist? Biology, I'm sorry. Okay, a biologist. Okay, yes, a biologist. Yeah, it's a good job too. What about... Sellers too? I'm sorry? Sellers too? Okay. Mm -hmm. What about enterprising types? It's like leading people and making decisions. A manager, a judge, a judge. Okay. Yes, a manager, a, a president, maybe. a president. Yeah, that's right. What about social types? Salesperson. Uh, social. Salespersons. As, yeah, a seller, a seller, okay. Psychology. A psychologist too, yes. A 
and other social types? A uh, teacher yes. could be a social type. Yeah, definitely that it's included. So um, according to this one, I think that all of you have different jobs and also you have different personalities related to each job. So let's continue with the next part. And also we have some perspective careers debate. So I want you to check this information previously. Oh, listen to the people talk about jobs. Do you agree or disagree? And check the speakers you agree with more. The first one, designing clothes is not a man's job. Women are much more fascinated by fashion. Not so. Many great clothing designers are men. Just look at Calvin Klein. Next, I would love to fly all the time being a flight attendant. Sounds exciting. I don't think so. Flight attendants get tired of traveling. They have to be away from their families all the time. Max, I like to work for a newspaper, but writing a gossip column seems like an awful job. I don't agree finding out about famous people's lives could be really fun. I will enjoyed working with animals. I think being a veterinarian would be rewarding. Next, I'm not so sure animals can be unpredictable. Getting beaten by a dog would be scary. Okay, so you had to check this one and you had to say if you agree or disagree. That's what we had to do. And also you will compare your responses with your classmates. So, and I want you to check this statement and think about, about it. Say if you agree or disagree about this one. So check this part and also analyze each phrase because there are great phrases right there that we can analyze and say, I agree or disagree. So I will send a picture about this exercise so we can see that part. One second, one second. Look at this. Okay, I'm sending you this, the picture. Look at this. So guys, look at the chat, please. Yes. Okay, try to analyze each one. And meanwhile, I will take advantage about checking the attendance list. So one second, please. Vamos a pasar la asistencia. Y pues eh, me permiten un momentito mientras ustedes analizan las oraciones. Ok, uh, vamos a pasar a asistencia y dice presente. Ok, um, Brigitte Lisset. Uh, 
Erasmus. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Present teacher. Eh, César Alexander Ramírez. Present teacher. Thanks. Dina Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Eh, Edith Araceli Guzmán. Edith? Oh, she's not. Eduardo Alexander Díaz. Eduardo, no. Sí, sí. El, Hola. Está enfermo. Ah, uh, he's, he's the one who said that was sick, right? Pero no yes. se conectó tampoco, ¿verdad? Por lo mismo. Sí, sí. Ok, Elvis Aníbal Rauda. Present teacher. Thanks. Emerson Alexander Mejía. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Eneida Yamilet González. Present teacher. Eh, Jaime Present. Roberto Aldana. Present. Javier Ernesto Lucero. Present. I'm sorry, teacher. I'm yes. Jaime Roberto Aldana. Did, Jaime, could you Jaime. hear me? Um, okay, thanks, Jaime. Okay, thank you. Okay. Javier Ernesto Lucero. Present. Um, Karen Suleima. Present. Okay, one second. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Laura Michelle Arce. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Maria Catalina Correa. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Marvin Fernando Marcel. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Morena Guadalupe Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Alberto Rodríguez. Oscar. No está. Present. Ah, I better to listen to you. Um, Raquel Arely Santos. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Santiago Antonio Chavez. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Sara Nalda Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, that's okay, guys. Hey. All right, so thank you. Teacher, teacher. Hi, tell me. Is the la la conexión la había perdido un momento y creo que ya pasó la asistencia con mi nombre. Edith Guzmán. Uh, Guzmán, Guzmán. One second. Uh, let me check right now. Uh, let me see. One second, one second. I'm sorry, the, your first name? Uh, Edith Araceli. Ah, yes, yes, of course. Okay, it's updated. Thank you. Uh, thank okay, you. all right. Well, guys, I was like, you know, working on that one and the time goes so fast. El tiempo pasa, esta hora pasa, pero volando. En serio que con ustedes no siento el tiempo. La verdad que es súper, súper rápido. Hay tantas cosas por hacer y pues. Um, pero bueno, so we're about to finish, guys. So congratulations. Los felicito por su esfuerzo. Yo creo que el inglés es... Eh, sentamos orgullosos porque es un idioma es un idioma universal, pueden haber tantos idiomas puede haber una conferencia pero entre todas las, las nacionalidades que hay en inglés es la prioridad porque es el idioma universal todo, científico tecnológico, comunicativo todo eh, pasa por el inglés, entonces uh -huh. es un idioma universal, tenemos que priorizar entre todos los idiomas, hay muchos idiomas bonitos pero realmente el que nos va a servir para muchas cosas es el inglés porque es el idioma prioritario. Es el más hablado mm -hmm. a nivel mundial. Entonces, eh, feel proud because you are learning English and also try to take advantage for every single class, guys. So, eh, ¿alguna pregunta antes de que terminemos? No, thank you, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, so... No, solo gracias por tenernos paciencia, teacher. Yes. 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 Thank yeah. you for, for your patience. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Acuérdense que yeah. ustedes ya van para advance y advance ya vamos eh, ya con todo. Entonces, vamos ahí pasos, pasos, tratando de, de avanzar lo más que puedan. Y pues, eh, con el simple hecho de estar aquí conectados en esta clase, a esta hora, que es una hora eh, de mucho reto, de mucho esfuerzo, porque han estado trabajando todo el día, créanme que es muy, muy valioso. Yo los admiro, la verdad que 
es un, es un trabajo muy importante el que están haciendo, pero mientras unos están dormidos, ustedes están en clases, así que eso es lo que vale, ¿viene? Yes. Eso, yes. That's right. That's mientras right. unos duermen, ustedes son de éxito, ¿ok? So guys, have a beautiful night to all of you, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. 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 Good